If there is something that I must confess I do like seeing, is seeing the carnival of so-called experts back in the UK being so bitter because Megan is winning. Being so bitter because Megan is making big commercial moves. Big business moves. And the person who my family I have seen today expressing her bitterness is carnival of so-called expert Lorraine. My family. Who was speaking to someone who has zero access to Harry Megan. However, they are brought on TV to act as if they have some knowledge on what Harry and Megan are doing or they are planning. You know, my family, I never understood this. Members of the Rota are supposed to be based only in the UK, right? In fact, Megan said in the Harry and Megan documentary that she and Harry wanted to go elsewhere. Canada, New Zealand, anywhere else that members of the Royal Rota were not located. And my family, all of a sudden, after Harry and Meghan fled to the US, which abolished the monarchy, my family, hundreds of years ago, more than a hundred years ago, all of a sudden, you are hearing that there are role experts in the U.S. After Harry and Meghan went to live in the U.S. <laughs> and my family, these people know nothing about Harry and Meghan. They know nothing about Harry and Meghan. And they find out information whenever the rest of us find out. That's when they find out, my family, any information about Harry and Meghan is when Harry and Meghan make announcements or like for example what we have seen today friends of megan revealing the american rivera auto products that they have received from megan my family we found that out from megan's friends and my family you know one thing is very clear UK media or Somehow, U.S. royal experts, my family, if there's no monarchy in the U.S., have no access to Harry and Meghan. Let's be very, very clear on that. And my family, I want you to hear the bitterness from carnival of so-called expert Lorraine. Because the fact is, they know the moment that American Rivera Otter goes live, Megan is going to become a billionaire. And there is something also I have not said. The CEO of Netflix, Ted Sarandos, he said, and I quote, in the UK, people devour everything about Harry and Megan in the UK. My family, I can confirm he is not wrong. Even though most of the carnival of so-called experts were asleep in the UK when Megan's friends who live in the US woke up and posted pictures of the American Riviera auto products that they have received carnival of so-called experts back in the UK woke up to immediately report on the news about Megan's friends posting on their Instagram stories the American Riviera Hotel products that they have received from Megan. And my family, can you please hear the bitterness that my family I have seen from carnival of so-called expert Lorraine, my family, please. Okay, but hey, this is quite nice though. Jam making. You can't have anything horrible to say about jam making, that's for sure. You do. And, and this is just this is just dropped in the past so half an hour, hasn't it? 
As the big Meghan Markle, we all know she's got all many ventures, one of them being Strawberry Jam, and it's already out there. It's gone to 50 influencers. They're already sharing it as well. So there we are. You should say, hey, it's just a, it's a jam story to finish off with. It's Meghan's nice. jam. How yeah. about that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, good luck to her. Apparently she's sending out to influencers, as you said, and they, they're posting it everywhere. So we absolutely everywhere. She's very clever. She's got everybody doing the hard work for her, which is good. Uh, Ross, thank you very much. My family, the level of bitterness from Carnival of so-called expert Lorraine. These people were telling Megan to leave when Megan was back in the UK. They were hounding her, abusing her, insulting her. And now that she has fled the UK, they are paying attention to every single move Megan makes in the US instead of leaving her alone after they told her to leave. Because I cannot forget what even Piers Morgan said. His own words. He said in a quote, Megan should go back to America. And she did. And she did. She went back to America. And Megan doesn't earn a penny of taxpayer money. Not even a single penny of taxpayer money. And yet, you are having carnival of so-called experts bitter because Megan is moving on with her life. Because Megan is selling jams amongst my family a variety of other products under her American Riviera Orchard brand, my family. They can't stand it. Because even the name American Riviera Orchard is a tribute to the community, to the place where Harry and Meghan live, my family, in Santa Barbara, Montecito. It's a tribute to where Harry and Meghan live with their kids. But my family, as you can see, the carnival of so-called experts are very, very bitter. My family, for you, to succeed, you need people who you can trust, people who you can call friends. But however, as you've heard from Carnival of so-called experts, Lorraine, and the other one who calls himself a U.S. royal expert, my family, even though in the U.S. there is no monarchy, the guy, they're calling the people who have received Megan's American Rivera Orchard, my family products first, being, you know, Delfina, Megan's friend, Polo wife, and also sister. And also, my family, a woman who is the wife of the CEO of Paramount, my family. Her name is Mrs. Tracy Robbins. My family, they are the ones who have received the first batch of my family, the American Riviera Orchard, my family products, you know. This is a clip taken from Miss Tracy Robbins. Instagram, my family stories of her receiving, you know, our own batch of American Riviera Orchard products my family for Megan. Miss Tracy Robbins, this, the wife of the CEO of Paramount. And then... This other clip, my family, is taken from Delfina, her Instagram stories also. She has received, my family, her own American Rivera Orchard, my family, you know, strawberry jam. And already, that has made the carnival of so-called export bitter because they have demanded that Megan postpone her plans for Kate's sake. But they are seeing that Megan is continuing with her plans and they are better. But not just that. They are wondering, asking this question, will it be sold in the UK? In the words of the CEO of Netflix, Ted Sarandos' family, Ted Sarandos, he said, in the UK, they devour everything 
about Harry and Meghan. Any content about Harry and Meghan, my family, they want. And clearly also, that applies to American Riviera Otter, my family. Because clearly, they're asking, they're asking, will it be available in the UK? <laughs> My family, once again, as I've said, the people who have received this first batch of American Rivera Orchard products are people who are close to Megan, are people who know Megan. My family, you know, because the field of example is Megan's friend and Megan's fellow polo wife. She even has called herself. Megan's sister. She's called Megan, my family, you know, her sister. That's what Delfina has done. And it shows how close she is to Megan. And even in her own Instagram profile, my family, here's what she has written about what she does. For example, she creates content, travels, she has love for horses, landscape. And international design, my family, you know, and my family, a husband, Nacho, is an amazing polo player. When you come to Miss Tracy Robbins, my family, she is a fashion designer, my family, that's who she is. Now, these are people who are close to Megan, these are Megan's friends. But UK Media want to continue with their agenda of saying or claiming that Megan has no friends. And that's why you are hearing them say that Megan sent out her American Rivera auto products to my family influencers. When clearly, these two who we know of, Tracy and my family, you know, Delfina. And there are 50 people who've been sent to those products family, but still we don't know who the others are. I'm sure we are going to find out to find out my family soon, to find out soon. I think is the two of them who we know have received the first batch of Megan's American Riviera Orchard products are people who are close to Megan, are people who are close to Prince Harry, are Prince Harry and Megan's friends. But of course, Sikki Media. Don't want you to think that Megan has friends. Of course, they don't want you to think that way. Why? Because Wikimedia have done everything in their power to target anyone who is close to Megan. And they have succeeded in destroying some special relationships that Megan had with some of my family of her friends. And that's why they want people to believe that Megan has no friends. When in reality, my family, when in reality, Megan has so many friends, so many good friends who will not sell her out to the toxic and racist UK tablet press who are hell-bent in trying to destroy this amazing, remarkable human being, Megan the Duchess of Sussex. So Megan has friends. And yes, UK media have targeted most of her friends with an attempt at my family isolating their victim, Megan, to make her feel lonely, to make her, you know, alone. You know, an abuser always wants to isolate their victims. To ensure that they feel alone. That they have nobody to turn to but the, the abuser, my family. And that's why you keep on seeing these articles. Oh, Harry wants to come back. Because the abuser wants him back. You know? My family. Because the abuser wants him back. That's why you see the media targeting Megan more even than they do Prince Harry. Because they've always wanted Megan to be the one who leaves Harry. You know, that's what my family they have wanted really. So the abuser tries to isolate their victim. 
And that's why anyone who even takes a selfie with Prince Harry is targeted, my family. Like what happened to that Prince Mario Max, who met Harry at the Legends of Aviation Hall of Fame family event. He was targeted for simply taking a selfie with Harry. For simply taking a selfie with Harry. You know? And that's why UK Media want to continue spreading this lie that Megan has no friends. That Megan goes friends. Megan simply cuts off those who go running to the UK cable media to sell stories about her. To smear her name. That's who Megan doesn't want in her life. And my family, we all know that so many people have been offered money to destroy Megan. Like Simon Rex, who was offered $70,000 to lie that he had slept with Megan. My family, just so Wiki Media could destroy Harry and Megan's relationship. And for a long time, Wiki Media have tried to destroy both Harry and Megan using lies. Using lies. Every single time. And they continue to try to do that using lies. And no wonder this smear campaign keeps on failing. You know, because all these lies that have been spread about Harry and Megan with an attempt to destroy them, my family are clearly being exposed as lies. You know? And the people who spread lies about Harry and Megan are always exposed as liars again and again and again and again my family that's how it's always been my family you know that's how it's always been and uh my family you know as i continue my family i want you to please kindly you know hear this please my family you know i want you to please be able to hear this uh please my family what is being said my family they are so bitter. The carnival of so-called experts are extremely, very, very much, my family, bitter. Very, very much, you know, my family, bitter. Now, my family, can you please hear this? <laughs> that while the brand will be releasing a wide range of products, in addition to selling jam, it has been pointed out the Megan might have, please hear this, some stiff competition <laughs> from her estranged family across the pond. So all of a sudden, back in the UK, Megan has a family. <laughs> For a long time, you've all had carnival of so-called experts trying to spread this message that Megan is unwelcome in the royal family. That she is unwanted. That's the message that the carnival of so-called experts have been spreading. That Megan is unwelcome. That she is unwanted in the royal family, in the firm. And that is a fact. That's what they've been doing for a long time. You know? And now that my family, you are seeing Megan Proceeding with her life. Working to put food on the table for her son Archie. For her daughter Lily Betana. Who depend on her. And Prince Harry. You know. To have food on their table. Now that Megan is working. My family. You are seeing that all of a sudden. My family. You know. Megan. Somehow has. An estranged family back in the UK. I, I thought they are sending this message that Megan is unwelcome, my family. I mean, they do that every single day. They do that every single day. They send this message that Megan is unwelcome in their own family. That's what UK media do every single day. You know? In fact, when they talk about Harry's family, they speak of Charles William K. Camilla, ignoring Harry's actual family. Megan, Archie, Lil Bedana, my family. 
When they speak about Megan's family, they talk of Thomas Markle Jr., Samantha Markle, and Thomas Markle. Not William Charles Kero Camillo's family. But all of a sudden, because they know how successful American Riviera Otan is going to be because of Megan's power and influence, that finally we are seeing Megan using the power and the influence that she has, that we've always known she has, to make millions and billions, my family, to put food on the table for a family, for Archie and for Lily Badana, all of a sudden, right now you are seeing that somehow Charles and William and Kate, Camilla are somehow now, all of a sudden are Megan's family. <laughs> for a very long time whenever Harry and Meghan you know have a huge win for example Prince Harry raises a million dollars for Santa Bali charity all of a sudden you hear that Prince Harry the Duke of Sussex my family and then you hear about you know William Charles Kate Cabela they link Prince Harry his success to my family, you know, William, Charles, K. Camilla, back in the UK. However, when Prince Harry suffers any setback, for example, my family, you know, loses a court case, for example, family, you know, on security. At that time, you hear he's just Prince Harry. At that time, just calling my family, you know, just Harry. They don't call my family him by his, you know, full name. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. But whenever Harry wins, they attribute his and Meghan's win to being members of the royal family. Whenever they suffer asset pack, it is my family, just Prince Harry. And uh, they call Meghan Marco, my family. That's what they do. They don't even use Megan's in my family first name. That's what you know the UK media like to do my family. You know, and my family, Megan's family is Archie, Lilibet, Harry, and of course Doria Raglan. And those who've been by Megan's side in good times and in bad times. William, Charles, K. Camilla, I don't even think after how Megan has been treated so appallingly by William K. Charles of Camilla. I don't think that Megan regards them or sees them as her family. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Because if she did, by now, she would have at least even traveled to the UK. <laughs> if she viewed them as her family, Megan would have at least even, you know, gone to the UK. And the fact that she has not, it shows you that Megan wants nothing to do with them. And that Megan is also, basically, does not view them as being her family. And my family, rightly so, because of all the hell William, Charles, K. Camilla have put Megan through. It is clear, those people can never ever be my family, Megan's family. Never. You know? And then they say, my family, can you please hear this? As they beat Charles versus Megan, that Markle could have found inspiration from her father-in-law. <laughs> King Charles, that you of Cornwall estate, which has been selling its jam at top grocery stores in the UK for years. <laughs> and my family, that's why I keep saying this. You know, there's this disease that I keep on saying from the UK media. Whereby they act as if Harry and Meghan are somehow still working royals. As in they still serve the monarch meaning Charles, 
And clearly they don't. They don't. Harry and Meghan don't work for Charles. They don't serve Charles. And they don't earn a penny of taxpayer money. But still, this carnival, all so-called experts believe that they can make demands from Harry and Meghan. Oh, give us access to events that you attend. We need to be the first ones to find out what you're doing. Your projects. We need Daily Media, Daily Mail that writes negative articles about Megan on a daily basis with the aim of destroying Megan. They feel like they still have rights over Megan. And my family, I have to call that a sickness. You know, I have to call that my family a sickness. It's a sickness, really. Because UK media have no right to cover Harry Megan. Especially not members of the Rorota, whose job is to cover the work of senior working roles back in the UK. Not those who live outside of the UK, my family. But still, they act as if Harry and Meghan are still working, you know, are still my family working for Charles or something. Or are working, you know, my family roles, really, have serving Charles. Yet they are not. Yet they are not my family. And also, as you can see also, even despite the fact that Meghan and Harry have been living in the US for four years now, for more than four years now, still, you are having Wikimedia pitting Meghan's work, my family, versus Charles. Why is this happening more than four years later? Why is this still going on? Because to me, I feel like UK media still act as if Harry and Meghan are working royals and that somehow they have rights to cover them, follow them, have access to the events. It is sickness. It's a sickness. My family, it's a sickness. And we all know, yes, even though Harry and Meghan are public figures, UK media have no right to go following Harry and Meghan. They have no right. They have no right, my friend, whatsoever. Even Lorraine has no right to talk about even Megan's, you know, business on, on TV in the UK. She has no right, but she does it anyway, my family. Because they act as if somehow, you know, her and Megan are still working roles and that they work for them, for the, for the monarch. They don't. They don't. They are free, my family. They are free, you know. And the fact that the media are still pitting Megan versus Charles, my family, it shows they have no interest in seeing any kind of reconciliation in the royal family. They have no interest in seeing that. They have no interest in seeing that at all. You know? And also, my family, <laughs> there is no way Meghan got any inspiration from Charles. Meghan had her own blog, The Tig, my family, before she even met Prince Harry. That turned into a good business. What Megan is doing right now is what she did before she met Prince Harry. My family. She's doing what she loves to do. You know? That's what Megan is doing. Megan hasn't received any kind of, you know, inspiration from Charles. No. My family. Megan had the take. Before she even met Harry, she had her own lifestyle brand called The Tig. My family. Whereby she would share things like, you know, you know, foods she eats, what she loves to do, my family, fashion tips. That's what Megan did. You know? And now we are hearing that Megan will be doing a cooking show. That's what she did before Prince Harry. My family. Megan was eating out my family. You know? And basically my family was seen with um at restaurants, my family, with, 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 with top chef from across the world, my family. You know? Cooking. Tasting my family, you know, foods. That's what Megan was doing. So what she's doing right now, my family, is what the Megan has always done before meeting Prince Harry. My family. You know, it is what Megan has done before she even met Prince Harry. But some people don't want you to remember 
that Megan had a life before she met Harry, my family. But no worries, my family, will remind everyone that Megan did have a life before she met my family, Prince Harry. She had her own life. And she, my family, was very much even thriving. And what she's doing right now is a continuation of her work that she was asked to stop when she and Harry got married, my family. When she and Harry were going to get married, Megan was asked to close down her Instagram, the tag, my family, our blog that made her money, only for Charles to be like, there is no money for Megan. And then they're asking Megan to close all her businesses, my family. And that's what Megan did because she loved Prince Harry. And now, my family, Megan is continuing with her life. Is continuing with what she did before she met Prince Harry, my family. She loved to, my family, cook. And my family, I can't wait for Megan's show because I do know my family that it is going to be completely incredible. Megan's cooking show is going to be completely, my family, incredible. And my family, we can't wait to see that. To see my family, to see it. We can't wait to be able, my family, to see my family. You know? My family, we can not wait my family. You know? And there are even my family videos of my family, Megan, you know? Showing up my family, the full channel. To taste food, my family, before meeting Prince Harry. This is before Megan met Harry, my family. Megan in a cooking show. Before she met Prince Harry. So let nobody lie to you. <laughs> that somehow Megan is doing some inspiration from Charles. She is not. She is doing what she did before she met Prince Harry. My family. But what UK media like to do. Is to put Megan versus Charles. Harry versus William. Megan versus Kim Milton. Because their business model. Depended just as Harry said. On members of the royal family being at odds with each other. So, my family, while looking media, I lie to the public how much they love to see some kind of, you know, peace talks, some kind of reconciliation. My family, they're lying. They're lying. You know? How do you speak about, you know, peace talks when you are still abusing Megan, harassing her, stalking her, trying to sabotage her work, her business? UK media don't want my family peace talks. And they know that they asked Megan once to give up her life. Her brother Tig. You know? Her freedom. And they know Megan is not going to do that again. Never. For what? For abuse? To go back to insults? That's never going to happen. But they're hoping Harry has a different view. Harry promised all of us. Actually, not my family, even all of us. He said himself. You know, his own words. He wants to end that cycle of trauma and suffering passed on from father to son. That trauma and suffering doesn't end if UK media ever have any kind of access to Archie and Lipetana. That suffering doesn't end if Harry Meghan and taxpayer money, my family, you know, because UK media will demand for Harry Meghan to give Wikimedia access to their kids, Archie and Lipedana, my family. And uh, I can never ever see that ever happening. But that's what Wikimedia family want. And I hope that my family that, that never happens. And I hope my family that, that never, you know, happens, my family completely. And I do hope that Harry Megan will keep on thriving, will live their best lives. Even family, that's my wish for Harry Megan. You know? And my family, please kindly hear this kindly, please. What they're saying is that some of Megan is falsely drawing some kind of inspiration from Charles, that you have called with my family, that sells jams. They're saying that it is unclear as of now if Megan's new products will be up for sale on Harry's home soil. <laughs> As the CEO of Netflix said, in the UK, they devour everything when it comes to Harry Meghan. My family, he was not wrong. He told the truth. They devour 
everything when it comes to Harry and Meghan. They are interested in everything when it comes to Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. <laughs> my family, you know? And my family, <laughs> it's called American Riviera Orchard. And you know what? Even if you can media a better, they are writing hit pieces and stuff. The fact is still, they're giving Megan enormous publicity. That's what they are doing. They're giving Megan enormous publicity. My family, publicity, that is normally expensive to get. But Megan is receiving that for free. And my family, and I know fully well, in my heart, I know this. American Rivera Orchard is going to be a complete success. My family, it already has enormously succeeded. And already, he is getting under the skin of the carnival of so-called experts back in the UK who really want to see Harry back in the UK begging Charles for money. That is not going to happen. And they are never, ever going to see Meghan back in the UK begging Charles for money or William for money. Meghan will proceed with her life, thriving, making money for herself and her kids, my family, to put food on the table for her kids and family. That's what Megan, my family, will keep on doing. You know, in my family, may God bless Megan, the Duchess, my family, of Sussex, my family. So Megan has friends, very good friends, who love her and who Megan loves my family. And it is those friends who have received my family, you know, Megan's first batch of you know, products that Megan is selling my family. And we only know of two of them right now, as of now. Delfina and uh, Tracy, my family Robbins. That's who we know of who have received, you know, Megan's first batch of American Riviera my family orchard products. And I know that, you know, they're enjoying, you know, Megan's, you know, American Riviera orchard, you know, my family products right now. And my family, I want to hear your opinion on what we have just discussed. You know, to the UK, I believe it's also going to be sold in the UK because clearly as the CEO of Netflix said, in the UK, they devour everything when it comes to Harry and Meghan. Of course, they are going to get products, you know, in the UK. Of course, because also that is a market that's gonna that's going to purchase everything that my family Megan sells and Megan will inevitably become a self-made billionaire. Now my family, you tell me kindly just about what we have just discussed. I want to hear your opinion. My family. Megan, we love you very much. Keep working hard because you thriving is what terrifies the carnival of so-called experts so, so badly. They can't start seeing you winning. So they can keep on winning. We are with you. We are with you. We support you. And they know that what you have here is a winner. And that's why it's so terrified and so, so bitter. Megan, keep moving forward with your plans. We are here to support you and show you enormous love and support. My family, tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed. I want to hear your opinion. May God bless you all. Stay tuned to this video. Love was forever. And may no performance against Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Bird, Diana, ever prosper. Stay tuned to next video. Love you also forever. Hello, members of the Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil. And for that, I say thank you. Good will always be very our bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.